Hey guys, um, it's kind of dark in here because I only have like that little lamp on right here. Um, I'll lock it up and just turn the light on. Um, I just wanted to get on, hold on, I think it's this one, yeah, and share how good God is <laughs> with what he provides and how he provides and the people that he uses and like, Guys, I am in like the most cutest, it's like a little studio apartment kind of sort of, right? And what's funny is, so when I first started, when I first moved out of the other Airbnb that I stayed in, I have had my sister in Christ help me, like she paid for the Airbnb that I got after that, right? And those same people happened to own this one, Okay. And so it's a, it's a, um, it's two women they are married, but we know that's not of God, right? But I'm not going to judge because one day, I don't know, I might be a whole divine connection over here and I might be just be like, just sowing that little seed about Jesus, right? So, um, it turns out that her wife, the wife that is staying here, her wife works in Navy Federal and they're like actually willing to like take me to work to help me out. So I can save money on my Ubers. What? But I'm off tomorrow. Okay, I'm off tomorrow. So, um, I was talking to her outside. She had to let me in. I, I, I guess I put in the code wrong. And she had to let me in. And she was asking me, like, about my situation. And I was like, yeah, I'm just, like, moving literally from, like, place to place to place. Because I haven't got my own apartment just yet. You know? And she was like, I was going to ask you about your situation she was like, I was hoping like, you know, we can do something and like, can help, like we can work something out. I was like, I sure wish we could like by the month because I'm tired of moving around a lot, but they get booked up like so easily. So I was talking to her and they offered me to take, her wife offered me to take me to work tomorrow, which I'm off tomorrow. But let me show you this place. Super cute. Like super cute. So I'm in A. This is the bed. It's like so cute. I'm like, Lord, this is so cute. And God is speaking. I'm watching The Holiday again, okay? I love that movie. God is speaking so loud today. So, um, actually, um, <laughs> let me, um, relax, right? That says relax and that says live in the moment. So I was like, okay, Lord, you're telling me to relax and live in the moment. That's exactly what I'm doing, and then this is the kitchen. Isn't it like so cute? It's got a little stove right here. And then guys, look at this. Like I get a Keurig and everything. Like, and I have water in here. And then every day is a fresh start. So whenever I saw that, I was like, okay, Lord, your mercies are new every morning. I get it. Like, amen. Right? And then, don't mind my stuff. The restroom. Okay. So I actually forgot. I don't know how I did this because I have so much going on mentally. And it's like ugh, becoming a lot to me. But I, um, let me turn this off. There we go. I, this is the cutest freaking place. That's why this is the cutest thing of us. Okay, anyway. So, I ended up, what was I going to say? Oh, yes, yeah, so I forgot my Bible yesterday when I checked into the Airbnb yesterday. Then I forgot it today. And I'm like, you know how when you're like not in the word, like, yes, I know I have God and I have the Holy Spirit in me and we are the word and we are the church and all that. Yes, I get that. But, like, when I don't have the word for, like, a couple of days, I feel like I start to lose it. Do y'all get like that? Like, I feel like I start to lose it. And I don't know if it's my face, if it's, like, like, hold on, what's going on here? Because I feel like I'm glowing. And I don't know if that's, like, what is that? You know? Okay, so it is. It's just, like, the joy of the Lord. Like, I'm so, like, ugh, I can't. He's so good. The way he came through for me, like after just literally applying for that apartment on faith and then sleeping at work. <sighs> yeah, I'm ready to pass out though. I'm going to try to watch this movie the best. I'm going to try to watch it 
and then I'm going to take a shower and I'm passing out because I'm off tomorrow. But, um, the Lord had, yeah, so I haven't had a Bible in a couple of days. I live on Bible at work and I'm like, I haven't had the word in me in a while, but God's been speaking to me all day. Well, yeah, all day. And then I was on the phone with my brother in Christ and we were, I was, as I was on my way over here, the Uber driver happened to be listening to K Love, which is a Christian music channel. And it was like the first song that was on was, it was called Thank God. And then there was like another song that came on and I was like, first of all, thank you. Like, thank you, Lord. Right. And then the Lord's been like, literally, (sighs) He's been highlighting my name to me. Like, I'll talk to somebody. I think I already talked about this, but I talked to somebody in like another department where her name was Angelina and in Angie. And I was like, what? And then, so he's been highlighting my name to me. And then like, I was looking at the car next to us as we were on our way over here. And it said A-N-G, like it was Ange. And I was like, daddy, like what's happening right now? And then I saw a huge 18 wheeler that said in red letters, guys, Jesus is Lord. I was like, yes, 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 amen. Like I was just like getting so much like from the Lord. And my brother and God's like, man, I love your relationship with God. Like I love how... You, you know, y'all can communicate like that, like how he speaks to you. I'm like, yeah. Um, I can see and hear spiritually. Like, I know when God is speaking. Like, if you're not spiritually, like, sound. I'm going to say spiritually sound. Like, if you're not spiritually mature in the Lord, like, and you don't have ears to hear and eyes to see, like, you will totally miss it. I know that y'all may seem like, for example, that, that those two little signs down here says relax live in the moment, right? Like God speaks to anything. Somebody can totally bypass that. But I knew what God was telling me, relax, live in the moment. That sign over there, what does it say? It says fresh. No, it says every day is a fresh start. God's mercies is new every morning. Come on. My daddy is speaking. Okay. So, um, I just want to get on and talk about the goodness of God and, This is the cutest place. It's so cute. I like it. I like it. I like it. It kind of reminds me of like an apartment that I had like way back in the day. Um, oh, Of course, it was my ex. But like it was like this studio garage apartment that we had. And it was like super cute, but like super small. And um, yeah, I think it was just good for like one person, but not like two people and two dogs. But anyways, guys... I'm excited. I do have a tour tomorrow. I'm just going to look at these apartments because I've just like, I'm just going to look, I'm just going to (laughs) look. Um, but we'll see. I'm just letting God lead. I'm just like looking at different apartments and then like, I'm looking on marketplace and I'm like, Lord, you're not calling me to live with other people. Like, I know you're calling me to, like, live alone. And there's, like, some places where it's, like, you know, that it's houses for rent. But they have, like, we have roommates and everything. And I'm like, I don't know, Lord. Maybe you are telling me to live with other people. Like, but I just know that he's not. Like, everything that he's showing me, there's no way that he's going to have me, like, live with other people. I don't know. But I could be wrong. Um, But I'm just going to go look tomorrow. I'm just going to go look and see what it's about. Um, but I'm going to get up off here, guys. I am tired. I slept so good last night. Honestly, I slept so good that I don't even remember getting up to use the restroom. And I didn't really want to wake up this morning, like, but I did. I had to wake up and all that jazz. But, um, yeah. Oh, God. He's so good. He's so good. And sometimes, like, we don't. We don't understand like what he's doing, why he's having us do a certain thing. But at the end, there's always a reward. Like I pray, like I know he's rewarding me. He did reward me just for walking by faith and not by sight. Not knowing what was going to happen what, as far as the outcome with that apartment. Like I just knew that I knew that I knew that apartment was mine, guys. Like I just knew it. But hey, um, 
I stayed at my job for like overnight. That is something I've never done. I, that is, God is having me do things I have never done. And some, like I said, people will not understand it, but I legit stayed at my job overnight, which was like only God. Um, and he definitely rewarded me for my obedience, but I start my new position, not next week, but the following week. Yeah. So. I just want to get on and share this with you guys. I don't like that I forgot my word because I always like read something before I go to bed. Yes, I have my phone, but it's different when you have like the actual Bible in your hand. And you know what I mean? Um, I'm tired. I'm going to get up off here. Take a shower. I don't think I'm going to watch this movie. I doubt I'm going to watch the movie, but, um, yeah, I love you guys. Jesus loves you so much more. And, um, I have no idea what I'm, all I can do is just walk. That's all we can do. That's all we can do is walk. Like we don't know what God's doing. Um, there's his one apartments that I had one to go look at last week, I think, maybe the week before, I don't remember. And there was this young man that helped me, and he's the sweetest guy, he's the sweetest guy. And it's so crazy because, like, if, like, out of all the apartments I've applied to or even went to go look at or whatever the case, they have never kept in touch with me. But this man keeps in touch with me, and he's a young guy. Um, he keeps in touch with me, and... I like reached out to them yesterday and I, he was helping somebody else and I was like, okay, well I was talking to somebody else and then he ends up calling me today and I was talking to him. He's like, I'm sorry, I missed your call. I know that what you call it helped you, but we're just kind of go over my numbers. He's like, yeah, you don't qualify for the um, income and this is what you have to meet. But he was like, I was just thinking about you and you know, um, I'll keep an eye out on any apartments, even if it's our sister apartments, like there's something that's in your budget. Like I'll definitely keep an eye out for you and I'll let you know. And I was like, thank you. Like that's very rare that anyone does that. Like who keeps up, like who keeps in contact with you? Like, you know what I mean? Like they just reach out to you the one time and you never talk to them again. But this man, like this young man was just consistently reaching out to me. I thought that was so sweet of him, but yeah. Um, then, Oh, Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And then I said I was going to let you go, right? But I'm just telling you my whole life story. So then there was a member who I was talking to, right? And uh, she was trying to schedule a payment for something. And I don't remember if it was a credit card or if it was a loan. I don't remember. And... I don't know why I was just talking about moving and I was like talking about like trying to look for an apartment or whatever. And she was like, what? And I was like, oh, nothing. I'm just, you know, I'm looking for an apartment myself, you know? She was like, oh, really? She was like, where are you looking at an apartment for? Like, where do you live? And I was like, oh, I'm in Florida. And she was like, really? And I was like, I'm in Pensacola. She was like, my son lives there. And now uh, my makeup is so, like my eyeliner. And I was like, really? She was like, yeah, she, he was like, she was like, he lives in these apartments that are like on like Michigan Avenue. And I know where Michigan is like kind of sort of I do. And I started to get like, Lord, what is this? Right. And she was like, oh, she was like, I'll have to see like where exactly this is. But I don't remember. She's like, actually, my son's calling me right now. That's him. Hold on. Like her son was literally calling her on the phone. As we were on the phone and we're talking about the apartment, right? And then I guess like, I'm not sure if it was an accidental call drop or if it was like, um, intentional. It was probably accidental because she was probably trying to conference us in because that's what she was trying to do. And then the call dropped and I was like, oh, Lord, was that you? <laughs> like, what was that about? Like, I just thought that was interesting. You know what I mean? So anyways, I just wanted to share that. 
that I'm talking too much and I'm super stoked that I have Wi-Fi like this. I posted that little word yesterday and that thing uploaded like within a minute. I was like, dang, that's cool. I don't gotta wait like two days to upload something. So guys, I just wanted to, I don't like that I don't have my Bible. Gosh, I always see with it like, I'm such a baby, like, but I love the word. Like, I will literally sleep with the word right next to me. Legit. Like, I love Jesus that much. I will sleep with the thing next to me. And sometimes I'll even hug it and sleep. Like, literally, like, hold it and sleep with it. Like, I'm so crazy. But I love God. And I know he knows that, like, it's okay that I left it at work. Um... And he's with me and he's speaking all like he's been speaking. And I'm just like, oh, Lord, but anything else? I think that's it. I think that's it, guys. I'm going to take a shower and take my butt to bed. Take my butt to bed. Take my butt to bed. Um, I think I might watch this movie. I don't know why I love the holiday. It's such a good movie. Like, I almost wanted to watch 27 Dresses, too. Like, I could rewatch them over and over and over again. Over. I do not mind my hair, guys. But, yeah. I think that's it. I'm just giving y'all an update. <laughs> um, this place is super freaking cute. I love it. Uh, but the only thing is, like, the water for the shower, it only stays hot for, like, 10 minutes. It's on a time limit. So, I don't take a long shower, I don't think, but I only got it for 10 minutes, so it's okay. I'm going to be grateful that I even have hot water for 10 minutes because not everybody has that. But, okay, I said bye like a thousand times, and I'm literally saying bye now <laughs> because my eyes are getting a little heavy over here. They're starting to get small. But, guys, um, I really hope that you are getting something out of this. I hope that this is encouraging to you guys and... I am here to bring you along on everything that God is doing in my life. Whether I may be in a valley moment or I might be in a high tap moment. Like I get on whenever I'm, when the Lord of course is good and he's blessing me and he's just showing out. But then I also get on sometimes and I'm just like, I don't know what's happening right now. Um, I'm sure there's like times where I should have gotten on in the past when I was just didn't want to talk to nobody and was just like boohoo crying and so mad because I want y'all to see that and I think I have sometimes but I want y'all to see that like I go through it too just because I have Jesus does not mean I don't go through it does not mean I don't have warfare it does not mean that um I'm perfect and I don't go through things because we all go through things we all have those thoughts um, I'm just ready to start when I get my own place. I I want to, I miss cooking. I want to start cooking so I can start eating better because guys, these pants I'm wearing right now, they kind of get snug. And if I keep eating the way I do, then I ain't gonna live in these pants. <laughs> I'm not gonna live in these pants. Um, I know it's all going to work out though. I know it is. I just pray that I hear God when he's like, okay, this is it. This is the one. Like, let's go. Because I'm telling you, I just knew that I knew that I knew that apartment was mine. But God was testing me. It was legit a test. Like he was literally testing me because there are so much things that he was saying. And I'm like, are you sure? Like, are you sure? And God is a man that shall not lie, but he will test our faith. So if he says, hey, go apply for this job, like, okay, apply for it. And then the door was closed. He just wants to know that you're obedient to his voice, to his leading. You know what I mean? So I did what I, I did what I did with the apartment. I, I just, I just did what I did and didn't get it. Um, but maybe he has something better. I mean, they were really nice apartments, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that one apartment's not up until 
It's unavailable until September, but there's no way I'm going to... I don't know. If God has me wait till September, fine. But if he doesn't, I don't know. I mean, the thing is, guys, like, even now I'm thinking about it, um, even if I were to get, like, an apartment that's a little bit farther than my job, I can literally work from home. I'll have to, like, I'll have to get settled in, of course, and then hopefully and prayerfully that I can tell them, like, hey, I'm going to, I want to start working from home. Um, I would only have to come to campus twice a week. So I wouldn't be spending as much money on my Ubers if I work from home. Um, my voice is starting to get crank, like cracky. So that's time for me to go to bed. Um, I get like that at work too. And I know my, my coworkers, they, they can hear it. My coworkers can hear it. But that's what happens when I start to get tired. But yeah, I was like, you know, even if I went a little farther out from work I can only work from home or I could work from home I'm not even making sense now and I can literally just go to work twice a week twice a week twice a, twice a week yeah it's twice a week but I don't know what God's gonna do I'm not I'm getting like so many things here and there and I'm trying, like, I know that God would speak through anybody. He speaks through anybody. But I'm also trying to make sure that the Holy Spirit is in that person, whoever I am, getting advice from. Because it's a different thing getting advice from someone who does not have the Holy Spirit in them. Versus the person who has the Holy Spirit in him because, in them, because the Holy Spirit is wisdom. So you want to just be sure. And I'm not trying to get a counterfeit anything. Like, I don't want anything counterfeit, like... No, I want the promise and I know what God said. Like I want the promise and I'm not trying to settle for less. So, um, I'm just rambling now. Guys, I was only, I said I was going to get on for like a minute and I'm over here on the 22 seconds, 22 minutes now. Okay. But yeah, I love you guys. God loves you so much more. And, um, if you need prayer about a certain thing, s send me a, 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 email and I will pray for you. And I pray that you are praying for me, whoever comes across this. I'm sure I know certain people are like, I know that for sure, but, um, pray for me. P R A Y. <laughs> if you are P R E Y I N G on me. Mm -mm. because no weapon formed against me will ever prosper in Jesus name so yeah I want you to pray for me like for those who like actually walk with God and love God and love Jesus and have the Holy Spirit like I know you're praying for me um but okay I think I'm done now I think I'm done <laughs> um I'm just like I love this place it's like super cute I wonder how much it is for a month. Hmm. But I can't get it for a month because it's already booked up. So, yeah. If I could just stay somewhere for a month with good good Wi-Fi, that'd be great. And in the meantime, you know what I mean. But anyways, okay. I'll I'll keep talking, but I'm gonna get up off here. I love you guys, and I will check in with you guys maybe tomorrow. I don't have my word, so. I'm going to stop saying that word because you are the word. I am the word. The word is in me. Um, okay, bye. Love you guys.